Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, somewhere a bit different this morning. It's like an abandoned farm stead building uh, just at the start of the moor. You can see the moor up there. You can see probably can probably can see all the way to Barra. Okay, so first signal came in at 18. It's an old key. Just off an old uh, an old padlock. Right, let's see what else we can uh, discover today. Back again, not far away from the last one, and we have a key, another key, that came in at 20, <coughs> looks like we have a hoard of keys. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Right, let's carry on. Alright, we've just had this end of a spoon. Which, believe it or not, came up at five on the equinox. <clears throat> so that could have easily been something of importance. Uh, so dig them low numbers. Okay. Well, just add uh, this up at 20. And I'm thinking that is uh, maybe a trigger guard of an old gun. Could be wrong. That's what it looks like. Some of you guys might know. You want to comment below? Anyway, it's uh, it's ten o'clock in the morning and it's red hot. Now, uh, what a view today! Look at that. Right, I'm gonna have to take some layers off. I think. Okay, let's get back at it. Next up, very deep, came in at uh, 23, uh, George the Third Penny I think, ah there's his head, you can make out his head and three ones there look, the top, could be a half penny. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's carry on. Have another penny. Nothing much on that one. That came in at 18 and then I dug the turf off and uh, it's coming in at 24. I think it might hover around this area a little bit. A few coins coming up. Here's another one. Looks like a five in this time. It came in at 14. Well, we've just had another copper coin, this time Victoria. Just uh, see if we can get a date off it. No, don't think I can. Okay, let's carry on. Alright, I've got a signal here. Twenty six, twenty seven. Let's dig it.
It's a big old buckle. Still full, it's still intact as well. Probably from the 18, 1800s. Okay, not bad that is it. I should clean up good. Carry on digging. All right, we've just had uh, part of a buckle. Quite a good design on it. That came over at eight. Bit of a scratchy signal that one. Okay, let's move on. So we've just had a 32 on the Equinox. Um, that nearly blew my ears off. Where's it at? Another big chunky. Oh no, I think, I'm thinking that is uh, Anglesey Miners token. Let's see if we can clean that up. Get back to you. Yep, it's uh, Anglesey Miners token. In 1790 something. And just make out the sc scrolls on it. And it should have a druid on the other side. And just make out an outline. It might clean up better at home. A thick coin that same as a cartwheel penny. Okay, let's move on. Another mystery object that's very deep. Looks like it could have some age to it. Not so sure if that is another purse bar. Clean that up later. Okay. Again, uh, it came in at 16. And now uh, another buckle. It's about fourth buckle I've had today. There again, it's probably Georgian again, I'd say. Okay. Well, it's getting towards the end of the day now. And uh, I've just been going up and down this banking. I've had a few Georgian coins. And this is the best thing I've had today. Um, I'm thinking it's a medieval purse bar. I had I had this part of one um, a couple of weeks ago. And I'm thinking that's another one. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do a round up at home. And I've had some questions, uh, people asking me about the Vanquish settings uh, and how to update it sort of thing. So I'm going to do a video when I get home and I'm going to leave you with this view in the meantime. Right, so we're back home now in the man cave and we're just going to do a round up of finds that we've had today. We've got three musket balls, Ord of Keys, um, that's George III, third uh, farthing, there's another little farthing, I'm not too sure what that is, Victoria, uh, George III penny, uh, this is an Anglesey Miners token, we could just see it make out the squirrels on it. I actually have one of them in quite good condition. Um, another George the Third, that's got a, a thick rim on it. Um, another fab in there. Uh, this is this I think is a, a trigger guard of a gun, an old gun. I could be wrong. 
Um, if I am wrong and you know what it is, uh, put it in the comments. Okay, and that's a roundup of buckles and a clog clasp. I've got this mysterious item here. No idea what that is. It looks like it's pivoted on a been pivoted or something like that. Um, and then we have this horse boss. Got a nice decorative pattern on it. Um, and then we have um, complete buckle. Don't normally find them complete like that. But they make quite good ornaments on a shelf, these. I have quite a collection of them. Um, I'd say that was from the late 1700s. Um, and then find of the day, we've got this post or medieval purse bar. It's quite a big one. Just didn't find the contents of the purse today. <laughs> Right, uh, we're going to take a look at the Vanquish now. Uh, I had a message yesterday. Um, a guy was trying to update his Vanquish and he didn't know which cable to use and he looked inside the all at the back of the Vanquish and he said I didn't want to stick anything in there in case he damaged anything. Um, and, I, and I told him, well, it's one of these mini USB cables, the same sort of cables that you... Um, charge your, your headphones up with they're quite common um, but what I have found is um, when he actually found one of these cables it didn't do the update, it didn't work um, and I think it's because it has to be a communication cable um, so if you find that it, it, does, it, it doesn't work for you just uh, see if you can find another cable and just try try the different cables in it Okay, right, we're going to take another look at the Vanquish and go through the um, the modes on it because um, I had a few message messages yesterday um, for people uh, which mode should they use. So we're going to we'll turn her on. Obviously, it does a noise cancel when it turns on. What we're going to do? We're going to turn the sensitivity down. So we don't want to hear all that racket because we're in the shed and we're next to my motorbike and other things. I've got a little bit of glare on the screen there. Right, can you see that? Right, so that's what I was using yesterday was uh, jewellery mode. So we'll start at the top, you've got coin mode. Now... This is all right for someone who's just starting out and they're just wanting to have a bit of a practice with a machine. Um, in my opinion, that the coin mode is probably better for the American market for doing parks and such like because it's got too much of a discrimination. And if you're looking for hammered coins, uh, especially in England and the UK, is that has too much discrimination on it, and you're gonna miss you're gonna miss hammered with that. Okay. Might be all right on the beach if you want to just if you want to just start start out if you're just starting out and you just want to get used to the machine. So next up, we have relic mode, which is the deepest mode. Um, this will pick. Uh, let's say your copper coins. You're going to get the best depth on that. This will work great on the beach. Um, because it, it'll it'll deal with the mineralization as well of the salt water. In, in fact, they all will. But um, I'd say that would be better on the beach, the relic mode. And then you've got uh, the jewelry mode, which I was in yesterday, which has got uh, less discrimination. Um, the jewelry mode does pick out hot rocks, but they come in at one. So the first segment's one, the second segment's two. So if you get a one on your screen, you definitely know it's hot rock. But you're not going to miss Ahmed in jewellery mode. And I found yesterday it was quite deep. So, um, yeah. So if, you, if you're on, uh, let's say if you're on plough, um, 
or stubble, I recommend uh, jewelry mode. It's one of the settings I'm going to be using now from now on. Um, it picks out all the targets in between the iron. So yeah, simple as that. So that's all the modes. Um, I hope this has helped and thank you for watching.